Yo, hunters, what's up? It's Lenny with Hunting Western Mass. How's it going? It is absolutely popping in the woods. Um, just to open that up with a little, little. I'm always trying to educate myself. I'm always trying to read and, and learn more. This is a, a, a book called Exploring the Outdoors with Indian Secrets. Um, but I'm, I'm constantly reading, constantly reading about deer, deer hunting. Um, people that have done it their whole lives that are that are super educated and, and willing to share their knowledge and you know that's that's a great thing uh, passing on what you know sharing what you know with other people that's that's what I try to do um, with with this site and I like to see more people start getting involved with my page um, and getting some reports again you don't have to give up your secret hunting spot um, but you know tell us what's going on out there uh, so right now I'm gonna give you a report uh, a wrap-up I just posted a video. My videos are kind of like a day behind because I'm in the woods so much um, as, as much as I can right now. It's uh, really hot out there and this, this is the week to be out. If you're going to bang a buck, uh, put, your, put your work in now. Get out there. Even if you can only get out for a couple hours, you know, after work or something, slip in, do your thing. And... Um, you know, I, 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 I'm seeing some other hunters that are, that are doing exactly that. They're coming in, you know, after work. They're getting out for a couple hours. Me, uh, I'm fortunate enough to be uh, have the opportunity where I, I can hunt pretty much all day if I want to. I just got to make sure, you know, the honey gets to work and, and gets picked up on time. And I make all my uh, doctor's appointments and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it's it's great out in the woods. Um, I've had some really cool deer experiences this week. Um, there's a buck. Bigfoot is back. I, I banged his track today. I was hunting uh, Montague public land, uh, the, mild, uh, the Montague Wildlife Management Area. And I was going down the road, and I, I saw his track. is unmistakable, unmistakably him. He's got dew claws in the back. His, I measured his track. It's over three and a half inches wide. It was two inches deep in the mud. I don't know if he was trotting or if he was spooked. It didn't look like he was running, uh, but he was moving. He was kind of trotting along, uh, but he's got a big track. And I got my camera set up. Uh, um, it, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. I'm still. I'm, I'm going in after him. I don't care. I got his tra track. He's local. He's fresh. That means he's 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 on the does that are that are in that area. He's sniffing around. I'm pretty sure I found his scrape line. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to hunt for him hard. Um, he is a really nice buck. Um, you know, and, and when you when you cut a track like that, and, and usually what I try and do is I'll cut the track. I'll see where he's going, um, which direction he's headed in, what time of day it was. I try and estimate what time the track was made. And then I bang, I go look for a scrape line. If I can find a scrape line, um, which I may or may not have done, <laughs> if I can find a scrape line, then I'll set up my cameras, I'll try and get some pictures of them, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll try and pattern them. Once I pattern them, I, I got a good chance at whacking them. So <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to, to, to let you guys know a um, couple tips. I give you guys the water bottle tip. I give you the uh, uh, Q-tip scent tip um, where... Uh, Instead of spending all that money on, on scent wicks and then, you know, you leave them and forget them in the woods, uh, you, you take a Q-tip, dose both sides, bend it over, stick it over a branch, and you can scent up a whole area that way for just the cost of a, of a few Q-tips. Uh, do remember to try and pick them up and clean them up on your way out. I, I stick them in my pocket, you know, I, I smell like uh, uh, bad deer parts <laughs> a lot of the time from now until Christmas. Uh, or the first anyway, but hey, it's coyote season. It's bear season. It's pheasant season. It is squirrel season Turkey season is over um, But if you see a coyote whack it, we don't like coyotes at all uh, So nail them unless it's gonna wreck your hunt um, But it's there's a lot of opportunities in the woods right now um, It's a great time to be out there the the there's a lot of wildlife uh, movement going on, a lot of activity, um, seeing a lot of foxes. Uh, foxes are in season right now, I believe. Um, so uh, know your laws, know, know what's in season, and you know, you'll have some extra chances. The other day I was coming out of the woods, I was kind of angry that I had 
I, I wasn't angry. I was just kind of bummed out that I that I hadn't got that buck that that I saw up on that acorn flat. But it, he exposed me to a great little secret hunting ground, and so I decided to kill something while I was there, just to you know kind of mark my territory. So I whacked a gray squirrel <laughs> and zipped him open with a uh, with a rage broadhead, and I cut him right across the top of the chest, opened him right up, split his heart right in half. And uh, he's in the fridge right now, all tuned up and ready to go. Um, I'm making venison jerky with the dough I filled my dough tag with. So I got a whole bunch of venison jerky to chew on while, while I'm out hunting. And um, it's, it's been a great year so far. I've had a lot of good deer experiences. Um, if I could give you guys any advice, it's um, between now and gun season starts December 1st. Uh, if you're a bow hunter, a real bow hunter, try and get out there before all the crazy city boys come in and, and, and do all their crazy city boy shit. And then the deer are going to get pressured and they're going to go into hiding. So, um, you know, this is Lenny Kale, Hunting Western Mass. I'm, I'm out there doing it, just giving you guys some advice, trying to do my thing. You know, I don't profess to be, I'm, I'm no great white hunter you know, I don't have tons of racks on my wall. I'm just another guy that's out hunting, trying to put meat in the fridge to get me through the winter. You know, if I can, if I can get a couple deer, um, you know, that's a hundred pounds of meat it goes a long way during the winter. It really is. And in these, you know, economic times, um, it, it really helps out. So, you know, um, if I could give you any more advice, it would just be to get in there do it do your scouting do your homework you know and have fun have fun and be safe and um this is lenny kale with west hunting western mass i wish you all the luck in the world and send me some reports man i want to hear from you guys come on don't make me start naming names because i'm going to do it in my next video all right good luck you guys